Hello, and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. This is day one of my 25 days of Christmas. In today's video tutorial, I will be taking you step by step through the process of creating this 3D Christmas tree card. So let's get started. In the Cricut Design Space, I have inserted a basic triangle and star. Next, I want to resize the triangle to 3.5 inches in height. This is going to be the height of the Christmas tree used in the card. Next, I want to resize the star so that it will sit on top of the Christmas tree. You can make the height and width of your triangle and star a different height than the ones I'm giving you in this tutorial. Just remember that you will need to take into account the size of your card against the height of the tree trunk, the Christmas tree, and the star combined. I am going to make my star one and a half inches in height. At this point, please note that both the triangle and the star are the same color. I will explain why in a moment. Now let's hit go and take a look at what we have on the map preview. In the map preview screen, I will adjust the number of projects from 1 to 5 and hit apply. The Cricut Design Space has now duplicated my triangles and stars so that I now have five triangles and five stars on one mat. I have noticed that while the Cricut software fits the items I want to cut on as few mats as possible, it does not always place the items in the most economical locations as possible to save cardstock. In this case, the Cricut Design Space would have required me to use one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. As I like to manually move the location of the items to be cut, I am going to make a few adjustments as well as separate my stars and my triangles so that I can place one 4 by 10 inch piece of green cardstock at the top of my cutting mat and one 2 by 8 inch piece of yellow cardstock at the bottom of my cutting mat. Please note that this can only be done if all the pieces to be cut are the same color. This is a two-purpose method. One is to save cardstock, and the second is that now I can make a cut on two different colored cardstocks without having to reinsert my cutting mat a second time. Back in the Cricut Design Space, I am now going to create my Christmas tree trunk out of two square images and using the slice option in the layers box. Taking the gray square, I am changing the angle and layering it over the green square. While the gray square is still highlighted, I am going to hold down the control key and click on the green square so that both the squares are selected. This can also be done by choosing the Select All option at the top of your screen. Now I am selecting the Slice option in the Layers box. Notice that the color on both squares match each other when the slicing process has been completed. Now I want to pull the larger square away from the smaller square. Notice that there is a new line on the smaller square. This is the slice I just created. I want to separate the small square from the sliced piece to ensure that the angle on the small square is what I'm looking for. Taking the larger square, I am changing the angle so that I can make another slice against the smaller square. I am placing the larger square against the slice piece to get an idea of the angle I am going to need for the larger square before I lay it over the smaller square. Making sure that I select both squares, I choose the slice option and remove all the excess pieces so that I am left with my new tree trunk. I am a very visual person, so I'm changing the color of the tree trunk to brown just to make it a bit easier to visualize that this is actually going to be the tree trunk on my card. Once again, I am going to change the number of projects to five. I am going to go ahead and cut my pieces since I am not going to make any adjustments to the location of my cutouts. I have gone ahead and inked the edges of my cutout pieces 
and have adhered several of the triangle pieces together so you won't have to watch me put all five pieces together. I did leave the last triangle off just to show you how I adhered all the triangles together. Once I have all five of the triangle pieces adhered to each other, I now need to place them on the cream colored cardstock. I want to be as close to the center as possible. So I used my score pad and created a small line down the middle of my cream colored cardstock base to make it easier to align the backs of the five triangles. If you have a good eye, you can just eyeball this. The next step is to adhere all the tree trunk pieces together to create the tree trunk. This piece is then adhered to the bottom of the Christmas tree, making sure it is aligned with the center of the tree. The same steps are applied to the star. Adhere all the pieces together and place the star on top of the tree, making sure it is also aligned with the tree. I added an embossed Merry Christmas saying to the front of my card. I was originally going to add the embossed saying directly to the cream colored cardstock, but as you can see on the video, I messed up. What I love about scrapbooking is that you can cover a mistake very easily and no one will know. In this case, I created a label from a matching piece of cream and red colored cardstock and made sure that my embossed greeting came out as I hoped before adding the greeting to the card and then using some zots to add a bit of dimension to the greeting. Since the main focal point is already a dimensional piece, I simply adhered the cream card base directly to the card with my tape runner. To finish the card, I added a holiday saying on cream colored cardstock using my printer. I cut one more triangle and tree trunk to place by the inside holiday saying to complete my card. At this time, I would like to take one more moment of your time and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.